So now once you understand how you can use use route hook to create different routes inside your application, let's take a look at how we can create all these components for all these routes. As you know, we are just using here a division tag to represent this route. So I'm going to create a new folder inside the source. Name this folder components. And inside this folder, I'm going to create a new file. Name this file global.js. Now that's upon you. You can specify any name to this file. Inside this file, I'm going to add all my components. Now that's upon you. You can create dedicated files for all these components. But just for this example, I'm going to put all my components inside this global.js file. So it will be easy to add all that components inside the app.js file. Right here, I'm going to say export constant login page. So this is my first component. And I'm going to return an arrow function from it. And then I'm going to return a division tag with h1 heading tag. And then I'm going to say here login component. Just out of that, let me copy this component, paste that here, and say here home page. This is the home page component. So I'm going to say here home component. Just out of that, let me copy this home page component, specify that here, and this is the home content component. So I'm going to specify name to this component, home content. So I'm going to specify that name here, home content component. Let me just copy this and specify that here and then i'm going to create now component so i'm going to say here now let me change this text to now let me duplicate the component again and this is for the dashboard so i'm going to say here dashboard and this is the dashboard component and at the last right here i'm going to say setting so i'm going to say here settings and this is for the settings component so i'm going to say here settings something like this now i can access all these components inside my app.js so let me save the changes back to the app.js and at the top right up here i can simply say import in the object i can import all my components from dot forward slash components global dot js file so here i'm going to say login page home page home content page dashboard settings and then i'm going to call all these components right here so what i'm going to do is for this home component here i'm going to say home page so let me get rid of this division tag and here i'm going to call home page this component then for this index route here i'm going to say home content this component for the login page as you know we have the login page component for the dashboard we have dashboard component and for the settings we have the settings component so i'm going to import all these components and specify to the corresponding urls right now you're not going to get the child routes this is because inside the global components inside the home page here i don't have the outlet so at the top right up here i'm going to say import in the object i'm going to say outlet from react router dom and then i'm going to copy this outlet and specify that inside this home page right here let me just grab this home page and put that at the top so we can easily access it save the changes you can see i'm going to have the result for i want if i open the login page I'm going to have the login component and if i open the dashboard i'm going to have the dashboard component now just out of that instead of just this division tag let me add some delving classes to this home component and add title to this application so inside this home page right here let me just first convert this div into main component so we will understand this is the starting of the main page and then to this h1 here i'm going to specify text authentication then specify here classes so let me add some delving classes here text center then add margin y3 and then i'm going to add here bg yellow 400 so this will add the background color to this h1 heading tag just out of that i'm going to specify text gray 700 
So this will specify text color to this title. And then I'm going to specify width, which is going to be 40 MX auto and rounded. Save the changes. Just out of that, let me back to my home page. So just out of that, just out of this H1 heading tag, right down here, I'm going to add division tag like this and specify here class names. Class names is going to be flex. I'm going to call display flex to this division tag. Then I'm going to specify justify center to center all the content. Also specify text center to center the text and then specify padding by three. So this will add top and bottom padding. And then I'm going to put this outlet inside this division tag right here. So I'm going to specify display flex to all my outlet content. Inside this home page, just out of this h1 heading tag here i want the navigation menu so what i'm going to do is here you can see i have this nav component i'm going to grab this nav component and specify that right here i'm going to have this navigation component right after this title you can see and just out of that i'm going to back to the navigation component right here instead of this div i'm going to specify here now to this nav i'm going to specify some class names so i'm going to first specify flex bg indigo 500 text gray 50 gap is going to be 4 and justify center so this will just center all the navigation items just out of that here i'm going to add a link component so at the top let me first import that link component so i'm going to say here link i'm going to get this link component from the react router dom and then i'm going to specify here first do attribute do is going to be the root route then i'm going to specify the root route here i'm going to specify home duplicate this link multiple times this is for login specify here text login then i'm going to specify here dashboard and this is for setting and do the same for this path so i'm going to say here settings and dashboard let me save the changes you can see i'm going to have the result what i want i'm going to have all my links as a navigation menu to this application next i'm going to add authentication inside this app so we can protect the valve 